In our previous videos, we have created eTabs and robot model of a 10 stories building. In this video, we will prepare our models for concrete design. We will add load combinations and stiffness modifiers. Link to download eTabs and robot model of 10 stories building is attached in the description below. We will define load combinations as per UBC 97. Click on Define, then click on Load Combinations. Click on Add New Combination. Now type in name F1. Now change factor of dead as 1.4. Add superimposed dead load and change the factor to 1.4. Our first combination is ready. Now let's add second load combination. We will add dead loads with factor of 1.2. Live load with factor of 1.6. Roof live load with factor of 0.5. Our second load combination is ready. In our third load combination, we will add dead load with 1.2. Live load with 0.5 and roof live load with 1.6. Now we will define seismic design load combinations. First, we will add dead load case with factor of 1.2 with 0.5 live and seismic load cases in both directions. Create F for and add dead load with factor of 1.2. Live load with factor of 0.5 and seismic load case in X direction. Now click on Add Copy of Combo. We will make F5 by changing direction of seismic load case. Similarly, we will make F6 and F7 with seismic load case of Y direction. Now we will make second set of seismic load combinations with 0.9 dead and seismic cases in both directions. Make F8 case with 0.9 dead and seismic case in X direction. For F9 case, copy F8 and change direction of seismic case. Make F10 and F11 cases with seismic load in Y direction. Our concrete design load cases are ready now. We will define load cases in robot structural analysis software. Go to Loads tab and then click on Manual Combinations. Type name F1 and then press OK. Now add dead load cases with factor of 1.4. Click on arrow button to add case. Similarly, add superimposed dead load case with same factor. Now click on Apply and Close. Now let's check our first load case. We can see it is available in our list of loads. Now let's quickly add all the load cases we created in eTabs. We will make 11 load combinations following the same step we used. To create our first load combination, we will keep the same factors for each combination as we used in eTabs. Robot Andy Tabs will analyze each element for all the load combinations and design frame element for peak of each combination. Now all our load combinations have been added. We can see them in the list of cases. Now we will modify our sections to account for cracked section as required by a CI. Go to define and then frame sections and then select beam section and click on modify property. Now click on modify modifiers. For beam we will put 0.35 in torsion constant and 0.35 for moment of inertia about two axes and three axes. Now we will open column section. For column, we will change moment of inertia into axes. 
and 3 axes to 0 0.7. Now we will repeat the steps for remaining columns. Now we will modify our slab section. We will change slab stiffness modifier to 0.25. Now we will change stiffness modifier of walls to 0.7. We will select our shear wall section and then click on Modify. Now change stiffness modifiers to 0.7. Now our ETABS model is ready to design cracked sections for concrete frame members. Now we will modify our frame sections in Robot. Click on Bar Sections button. Now double click on Beam Section. We will change concrete material from default to concrete for. Now we will click on reduction of moment of inertia. We will change the moment of inertia factor to 0.35. Click on add to make changes. Now we will open column section by double clicking on it. Change material to concrete for. And then click on reduction of moment of inertia. We will change this factor to 0.7 in both X and Y direction. Column stiffness modifier has been assigned. We will repeat the steps for all the columns. Now click on thickness button. Double click on slab section. Click on reduction of moment of inertia. Change this factor to 0.25. Now click on Add to make changes. Now double click on Wall section and change the moment of inertia to 0.7. We have modified our frame sections to cracked sections. As required by ACI, now let's compare the results of both softwares with previous results. Open dynamic analysis results to see modal time periods. We can see time periods have been increased to 1.9 for seconds due to cracked sections. In uncracked section model, it was 1.9 seconds. Now let's compare the time periods of cracked models with ETABS model. Click on modal results then click on modal periods and frequencies. We can see time periods have been increased to 1.8 seconds. These results are very close to the results of robot. Now let's compare the results of seismic forces. Base reaction seismic forces have been reduced to 630 for kips in X direction and 587 kips in Y direction. Now let's check the base reaction of seismic forces in E tabs. We can see that base reaction for seismic force has reduced to 630 kips. This value is same as robot. Now let's check maximum displacement of the building. Under seismic cases, click on stories and then click on displacement. And open seismic case in X direction. We can see building will have a maximum displacement of 1.65 inches. In the tab open displacements. Now click on story maximum average displacement. We can see in seismic X direction building will have 1.7 inch displacement. In our previous models, this value was 1.1 inch. Now our models are ready for concrete design. In our next video, we will design frame sections. Subscribe our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.